And I don't know whether it's a healthy thing the fans can do. Yes, that's, that's what rap is about. You know, rap can never be listened to just regular, unless you are talking about life. Even that one, <laughs> you still look at how you deliver it. So, mm -hmm. Rap is always, it has that ear. You can, it's not jazz music, just appreciating just the music. Mm -hmm. Rap is something that they have to appreciate the flow, lyrics, everything. So, yeah. Now, now, how they put it, can it sometimes break troubles? Because I remember not long ago when one, uh, I don't know whether I should call him one of your fans, had made a tweet about Wale that Sakodi gave him a career. I saw your response that you were not too happy with it, even describing the act as dumb. Uh, so when they start these comparisons, uh, sometimes does it not create some confusion? Um, honestly, if the opponent, or oh, not the opponent, the, the other party mm -hmm. involved doesn't mm -hmm. care, because honestly, oh, you know me, I wouldn't care, but mm -hmm. if he, because he, he had to retweet for me to see it, you know, when he did that, you know, and I know how that can go. If the person was just like me, who I know my people, so I will not even uh, <laughs> feed into it. But mm -hmm. since he has done it, if I say nothing about it, I've, I've seen something play out the same way before, mm -hmm. and it didn't go well. So mm -hmm. that's why I had to come in uh, to also, you know speak on it but on a regular day if it's just me you're talking about i don't care but this is something beautiful that has happened uh organically it wasn't forced i didn't have to like go through stuff you know this uh, superstar i reached out in the dm we had a conversation and he also respected the music i do as well it was mm. so organic it was so pure mm. I sent him two songs and then he did that one mm. and sent it back so as beautiful as that was if you are saying this to you know to him you can imagine how that that makes him feel so mm. i wasn't gonna like respond if he did not mm. yeah. so so have you had a, a side discussion with wale to find out he is comfortable and he's not maybe angry about that um no i think with energy sometimes you don't want to also fuel it as much as he said i said something back and he mm. responded mm -hmm. to someone about how i am as a person and how we you know we connected so i think i, I can only think that i think he's good i see yes. now let's, let's do a little bit of a discussion on vgme um in fact, with the last edition as a case study. And then they all go piling your money for four years. Then four years. Mr. Ma! Mr. Ma! I mean, you Yes, so we were behind it thinking, no, Sir Cody has gone mute on the VGMA. But as a matter of fact, we don't know what really was going on around your team and in you. With VGM, did you go mute on it? Mute as in not, uh, as in not even doing stuff years. about it for even the fans. It was sometimes like direct, I'm a sack native, yeah. maybe you don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm a sack native, I'm part of them. Um, our interaction was that no interest because Kin is not showing any interest. Kin is not doing anything about it. Now I'm asking, uh, was it deliberate? Like this year, maybe I'm not interested in any awards, I was then uh, let them do their thing uh, later. Yeah, definitely not deliberate, but I think it's all stages in your life as a person. Mm. That, like what just happened, I think a week or two ago when I went to London, I was excited because I wasn't going there to go and perform. I was going there to be a creative director to uh, the show, mm -hmm. which was at this point in my career, it's the new high. That's uh, when you're coming up there, highs. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. It's like this, when you, now you're, when you're playing my songs, on the radio, mm -hmm. it's a high, but it's not the same as it was ten years ago. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. hear a song on the radio, you even go to park and go and listen how people are listening to the song and all that. Mm -hmm. So you go through that, and that, not like you don't appreciate. It's just mm -hmm. you want something else to be the new high, mm -hmm. which um, at this point I don't think you know the awards are good. And that's we don't. You have to be recognized that you did something, but it's not the same high as it was. A couple of years back, so I won't say it was deliberate, it was just not, organically that's how I felt. Mm -hmm. I just didn't, I was not, and I don't force stuff, you mm -hmm. know, trying to hype it, you know, because people want you to hype it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see, but, but it affected the fans because I know they would want you to win, uh, that is all their dream, uh, they would want you to win all the time. But since you are not showing any interest in it, they were also laid back. I know at the point, some of them were confused should we continue to push it or we should not? So, moving forward. Do you still like it like that? That when you go mute, they also go mute? Or they can still go ahead to do their things? No, I think the fans are... Uh, I, I respect the fact that they follow my lead. Uh, certain issues, I definitely want them to follow my lead. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, they are also fans. They stand for something. And that, that's what makes them fans. So mm -hmm. I can't come in their way and try to tell them how to move. Mm -hmm. they, I can only suggest sometimes, they go like, can you guys go 
Adobe software on this because it might create a problem like this or whatever. But fans are fans. Fans are not supposed to be necessarily realistic. You know, mm -hmm. fans, that's why they are fans. They love you and they want to see the best for you. So I don't think they can ever feel comfortable enough to say, oh, if they, if they don't want you to do something, that means it's in the best interest for you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. what they decide, I still respect it. Mm -hmm. Now, do you have an idea when this high or low thing for awards will end? Or it's likely uh, to, to feel, feel for. Uh, I'm not saying that you don't respect it or you don't need it. I'm mm -hmm. just saying that naturally, um, it's like when I'm pushing, uh, when I'm pushing a project, mm -hmm. and it's, it's nothing too new. The, the energy that I would use to even come up with marketing strategies is not the same, mm -hmm. you know, because it's, you feel like it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean you won't sell it regardless. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that's what I'm saying. So like I don't want it you know, mm -hmm. I don't care but it's just not the same feeling when because those things when I do it it's actually organic that's how I feel I'm, I'm putting up banners I'm doing this like yeah. when I was dropping off yeah. I could see yeah. yes we, we saw because, that yes, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I have a new project and mm -hmm. I want to push it mm -hmm. you know? and uh, something should usually be too scared I will get to a point where even albums I don't want to you know, drop it but it's, 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 it's a high I don't know how to explain it you, don't, <laughs> you can't fake it you, yeah. you, if you don't feel like it you can't really do anything about it yeah. but now they're also expecting you to Head towards the Grammys, and now that we even know Sony Music is now part of the uh, business, yeah. this is a stepping stone to the Grammys. So I'm not sure the high will affect that level as well. No, I think I will still keep working. Um, uh, I I will still keep, still keep pushing myself. Mm -hmm. um, I actually believe in trust in the process, and I want that nation definitely. I know they want the best for me. Mm -hmm. They know that I will mm -hmm. not settle for less. I will definitely go. Mm -hmm. The pace uh, it might not be as on speed as you want it, mm. but knowing myself, I will not settle for less. Mm. I, I I met um, a channel Kwame from I don't know whether it was last year or something, and then yeah, I saw him. He was so in shape, mm -hmm. and I said, you know, how old he is, and you know, being in the game for this long, he's still keeping that going. <laughs> how he looks, and I said to myself at that point, uh -huh. I was you know, I gained weight, and I was like, yeah, me, I don't think. I don't think I can keep up. I think one day I'll just give up and just be the jammy you know, Because it's, it's work. But you know what he told me, which is interesting, because I think Ochamu Khan is very deep. He, he sees stuff from a, a deep perspective. And he said, knowing you, not knowing you as a but watching you from far, you're not somebody who can give up and let go. Which, I, actually, when I play back my life, I've been like that. So it's hard for me to settle for this. Mm -hmm. I'll definitely go for that, the highest level of what I want to do. Mm -hmm. But maybe the time, the pace, with, and I also like it because a lot of artists have done a whole lot within a short period and now they have nothing to do again. Yeah. So for me to yeah. be here after 10 years and you mm. still looking forward to mm. me doing something, that's mm. the interest in me doing the music mm. that I'm doing. Mm. Mm. So if I do all this within this short while, what else is, is left for me to do? Mm. And I, people actually put me in a very old age category. I'm not. <laughs> you know, I still have time. So, <laughs> but, but sometimes you also say it in some of your rap. When you say you were a father, you were a father of all rap. Yeah, <laughs> father's uh, but that's a figure of speech, right? <laughs> <laughs> you, could be, you, could be, you could be 15 and still put yes, your father. Exactly. Mm, mm. Now, there is a concept ongoing in our music industry because you are a content creator where art, okay, I wouldn't call them artists, where creative people or content uh, creators, they sit to break down lyrics of artists. And I know your songs might have gone through some of these processes. Do you guys always feel comfortable when maybe the understanding the content creator is putting out might not be exactly what you wrote, but you will not be given the chance to maybe respond to or defend to it? Um, I think we have no control by that. So I just watch it as it happens. If somebody gets it right, cool. If they don't, that's cool too. Mm, but are you enjoying the few you've seen? Maybe you've seen someone or two. Do you I like them? the reaction to yeah, the Yes, the reaction, the yes, music breakdown. I, love, I think that's a new trend now. Yeah. To me, that supports the music a lot. So I'm definitely up for it. You know, I, I enjoy it. The fact that you made something and somebody is enjoying and, and interpreting. Inter how do you say it? Mm, breaking it down, interpreting, interpreting. Yeah. Yes, mm. you know, so I like it. I mm. like the fact that they appreciate the music and they took the time mm -hmm. to want to break it down for the people. Even when they do it negatively? Yes. Um, I think it's, it's somebody not liking something doesn't mean, you know, you, you can see when somebody don't like you, you yeah. just for not liking you. Yeah. Somebody could listen to a song that they don't like, mm. you know, which mm. is, that's why we mm. have people to listen to music. You do it for people who appreciate it. Some people wouldn't. So that is also cool. Mm. I see. Let's still move on to the business, which is the review of the No Pressure album. DJ Stigar, which one are we doing? I 
fireworks. Fireworks, yeah, the one with Malay, right? Let's do this.